checking out the uh, A10C simulator, and we're with. Uh, my name's Alan Hartford. And uh, what, what, what do you have set up right here? What what are all the uh, features of this uh, sim? What we have set up here is the uh, Thrustmaster Hotus Warthog stick and throttle system, as well as the MFD Cougar Pack. Uh, you can see the uh, green lighted bezels there. <coughs> And um, who is this aimed for? Like really hardcore sim or? Definitely, yeah. This uh, this simulator is DCS A10. I would say it's more for the uh, hardcore simulation enthusiast. Probably the same for the control system, uh, but it's all easily accessible uh, for newcomers to flight simming. So, uh, really for anybody. And um, this this isn't this isn't even out. It's in beta, right? Um, the actual software. That's correct. The software is in beta, but it is available from uh, Eagle Dynamics online. You can actually purchase a beta unit, and uh, when the software is actually final, you uh, get the final release version as well. Um, so, can we get like an overall price and what you get in what you, if if someone's interested in ordering this type of uh, setup? Uh, the sim itself runs about sixty dollars. The throttle and stick uh, manufacturer suggested retail on that is about four ninety nine. You can pick up the MFD Cougar back, uh, Pack bezels for between fifty and a hundred dollars, depending on which online retailer you shop. Uh, can we get like a, a look at uh, how the wires are run? Back here, or uh, really nothing, nothing special to see there. Uh, it's all just USB connection. Okay, uh, but you're, you're more than welcome to take a look if you'd like to walk up there. But <laughs> so it looks pretty clean. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, yeah certainly. Go ahead and take a look. So, uh, what kind of rig are you running right here? Pardon? What kind of PC rig are you running right here? Is it really a powerful system? No, this is probably a mid-grade system. We've got uh, a 275 series graphics card. We're running Windows 7 Home, uh, about 4 gigs of RAM. So, it's, it's nothing super high-end, and it runs the sim just fine. And right now, we're looking at a map. So, is she, uh, is this actually, how big is the world you're flying in? Uh, basically, the terrain covers uh, Russia, the Crimean Peninsula, the Georgia region. It's it's a pretty large map. So, um, does it have uh, like actual distances, or is it like you can fast forward the like similar to the Microsoft Simulator? Like you could actually fast forward your distances, or is this like no option to do that? Just fly straight through. Uh, no, you would have to fly at, at single speed basically uh, through the simulation. Okay, uh, so when is this coming out and for how much and how far into development and how big is your team on this? Uh, as far as the simulator is concerned, I, I have nothing to do with the simulator, so I, I couldn't answer, you know, timelines or how big the team is. But uh, as far as I know, hopefully by the end of the first quarter, maybe middle of second quarter this year, it'll be released final. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.